Welcome and thank you for attending our coordinator training for our 2020 campaign. We really appreciate you being here today. Uh, I'm Scott Reed. I'm the CEO of the United Way of Fairfield County. Um, I, we, I can't tell you enough how important your roles are going to be for our campaign this year and how significant uh, what you do will be to the success of our campaign and being able to fund all of our partner agencies. So again, thank you for taking time out of your day today to uh, spend with us and learn what, how to be a campaign coordinator. Uh, I thought we would uh, share a little bit at the beginning here with you. We, earlier this spring, partnered with Fairfield County Foundation to form the COVID-19 Relief Fund. Uh, this was a fund that we established in collaboration with them to help nonprofits that were supporting people in our community that were being impacted by the pandemic. Uh, we raised just over $154,000. So thank you to our community for those generous donations. Uh, we've pretty much distributed the majority of that. We have a couple more sessions coming up where we anticipate the rest of that money will be shared uh, with nonprofits again that are being greatly impacted by COVID-19 and helping people in the community impacted by COVID-19 as well. So thank you for that. Um, so what's new this year in our campaign? There's gonna be a few things new. I'm gonna give you some very brief descriptions of those items, uh, and then Beth will go into great more detail on them later with you. Level-based giving, no more fair share. Uh, we'll again describe that a little bit more in detail later. There'll still be discount cards for level certain levels of giving, and there'll still be a monthly prize drawing for certain levels of giving. So we're not doing away with those concepts to show our appreciation, uh, but we are trying to simplify how people give and not so much the fair share, which again, for those of you not familiar with fair share, that equates to one hourly wage per month per donor. Uh, we feel this is a little simpler. People can look at this and say, hey, this is what I'm comfortable giving. Uh, we'll have a fillable PDF form for our, our pledge form this year, and uh, we're simplifying the reporting envelope. We're trying to make it a little easier uh, for you all to fill that out and turn in the results of your campaign. And again, Beth will touch on this more and how important those having those filled out completely is. Um, so again, ways to give. We're going to have the traditional the pledge form that we already talked about. And then we're also gonna add several digital ways to give through our website, through a text to give, and things like that. Um, we thought it might be good to start with showing you one of our new digital resources. We have prepared a campaign presentation. We won't have the opportunity to go out as much and do these in person. So we still wanted you to have the ability to share something with your coworkers that talked about more about United Way and how giving to the United Way can support the community. So we're gonna share that with you now. Hi, my name is Scott Reed, and I am the CEO of the United Way of Fairfield County. We are very excited to be able to come to you today, virtually, and talk about our 2020 campaign. Speaking of 2020, wow, have we had some challenges. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I am very, very proud of the way Fairfield County has responded to this year. Uh, many of you may be aware that uh, with the pandemic, we created, uh, in collaboration with Fairfield County Foundation, the COVID-19 Relief Fund. Just to give you a little bit of information on that, we were able to raise over $150,000 to support nonprofits in Fairfield County that were being directly impacted, uh, especially those being impacted in, in a manner that they had increased demand on their services, we were able to get them funding to help support those needs. So thank you, Fairfield County, for supporting that fund. With that said, here we are. We are upon the annual 2020 United Way of Fairfield County campaign. Uh, and the reality is the needs we support are still there. The ones that have always been there are still there. And some, honestly, are probably needed even more because of the pandemic. So what we need is those that support us to continue to support us, and hopefully a few of those that maybe haven't to start this year and really make things happen in Fairfield County. Our 2020 campaign theme this year is here for good. That has a couple of meanings in our mind. We're here to do good and we're here to do it for good. United Way of Fairfield County has been in the community for 80 years. 
and we want to continue to be here for hundreds more to support the needs in our county. I'd like to turn things over to Beth Kraft now. She heads up a lot of our campaign efforts, and she's going to talk a little more about what United Way does with your donations. Thanks, Scott. At United Way, our mission is to improve people's lives through the caring power of our community. We focus on three bold goals, education, financial stability, and health. Our first goal is education. We are working to increase school readiness and positive family engagement so that our young children ages birth to eight enter school prepared to succeed. We also work to reduce non-academic barriers to success and increase academic achievement and career readiness so that our youth ages 9 to 21 successfully transition to adulthood and independence. Here are our education partners that are aligned with that goal. The Family YMCA, Boy Scouts of America, Girl Scouts, Harkham House, Pickerington Schools, Mid-Ohio Psychological Services, and Maywood Mission. Our second goal of financial stability, we work with individuals and families and help them achieve financial stability. We work to increase community workforce skills and make sure that people in crisis have access to the things that they need, food, shelter, or a safe place to stay. This helps to ensure that households are stable and have access to the resources that they need. Our partners in financial stability include Fairfield County 211, the American Red Cross, TeenWorks, Lancaster Fairfield Community Action Agency, Lutheran Social Services, Canal Winchester Human Services, the Pickerington Food Pantry, the Lighthouse, and Foundation Dinners. Our third goal of health, we work with the elderly and those with disabilities to make sure that they have access to support services to complete independent activities of daily living. We also work for the awareness, education, and treatment for addiction and mental health issues. And we work to make sure that people that are seeking care get the care that they need. We can help ensure that individuals and families are mentally and physically healthy and have access to these services. Our partner agencies for our health goal is the Salvation Army, Fairhope Hospice and Palliative Care, New Horizons Mental Health Services, By the Way Free Medical Clinic, Wesley Ridge Retirement Community, Fairfield Center Disabilities and Cerebral Palsy, Harkham House, and the Family YMCA. Your donations to United Way also help support programs that are run through the United Way. That includes the Career Closet for Women, which is a place women can go to shop for free professional clothing to prepare them for job interviews or to enter the workforce. Dolly Parton's Imagination Library provides free age-appropriate books monthly to children from birth to age five to encourage parents to read to them and increase the awareness of the importance of early literacy. FAFSA seminars provide assistance to high school students and families to help prepare them to go to college. Feeding Our Future is an opportunity to serve the children in need in our community. Over 800 local elementary students receive a bag of food one Friday each month to get them through the weekend with the hope that the meals are helping the young students grow and that they can return to school on Monday ready to learn. Our income tax preparations, United Way volunteers provide free tax preparations for individuals or families earning less than $55,000 and also for any individual over the age of 60 over the years, this has resulted in over $16 million in refunds. And the professional development courses, United Way provides non-cost, high-quality professional development classes and trainings for educators in Fairfield County. Ultimately, United Way is working with its partner agencies to help those in our community with not just a hand out, but a hand up 
so that they can truly get on the path to becoming self-sufficient. And what does that look like? It's helping people to achieve academic success, looking at college alternatives, making sure that people are workforce ready, that they have a livable environment, and that all of their healthcare needs are being met. At United Way, we are striving for a community where every person has an equal chance at a bright future. Truly, every dollar counts. Even the smallest gesture can add up to big wins for our community. So for example, $1 per week will supply a family of four needed personal care items. $3 a week will sponsor three children for a week of preschool. $5 a week will provide six months of a school-based mentorship match. And $10 per week sponsors 12 students for signs of suicide education and follow-up counseling. And now I'm gonna turn it back over to Scott and he's gonna tell you a little bit more about our new level-based giving program. Thank you, Beth, for sharing that information. A lot of you probably recall the Fair Share Challenge. Fair Share, in essence, the easiest way to define that, it was everyone give one hourly wage per month. This year we're changing it up and we're doing away with the Fair Share Challenge. This year we just want you as donors to decide what you're comfortable giving. So based on your monthly gift, you will fall into one of our categories for level giving. Caring club donors are 10 to $24 a month. Pace setter club donors, 25 to $49 a month. Leadership club donors, 50 to $74 a month. And then we have our pillar club donors of those that give $75 or greater. And they're even broken out a little more in detail, as you can see from the slide, with different ranges of being a pillar level donor. So many of you may be asking, well, with fair share going away, what about the really cool discount card with local restaurants and retailers that you gave out or the drawing that you did? Well, don't worry, those are still available. For our caring club level givers, those giving $120 or more annually, you'll still get that discount card sent to you as a, as a thank you for being a donor. Uh, if you're a pace setter club donor, you'll not only get the discount card, but you will also be put into our drawing monthly for our, our prizes that range typically in value of three to $500. A few examples of those prizes, a uh, 55 inch TV, wine club for a year, cabin getaways. Those are the kind of things that we gave out in 2019 and we, we look forward to doing very similar things in 2020 for our pace setter donors and above. Our leadership club donors, those who give $600 or more annually, will receive the same recognition as our pace setter club donors and also be recognized on our website and be listed in our annual report that we provide to the community. Our pillar club donors, those that donate $900 or more annually, will again receive those same items that our leadership donors get, but they will also have a special annual event to show our appreciation for their level of giving. So we've talked about the levels of giving. How do you give? What are the ways you can give? Well, again, in this year's campaign, we've done things a little bit differently. You can text Fairfield Gives to 41444. You can go to our website, www.uafairfieldco.org, and click on the donate button. And we have our campaign pledge form, which this year is a little bit different. It is a PDF that you can type right in from your computer and send or print it out and fill it out as well. So there are several ways that you can stay abreast to what United Way of Fairfield County is doing with your donations. Again, check out our website. We are also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and constantly sharing what we're doing and our partners are doing to make Fairfield County better. Now I'd like to introduce Bob Campetti, our 2020 campaign chair. He'd like to share a few words with you as well. Thank you, Scott. I am thrilled to be your campaign chair for 2020, and I'm really looking forward to working with all of you as best we can in this new virtual format. I promise to you that I'll continue to work hard to provide the agencies of the United Way in Fairfield County the funding that they need to support the individuals in our community that are less fortunate, especially the children. 
Believe me, it doesn't matter how small your gift is. A small contribution from your weekly paycheck can make a huge difference. One thing I've noticed these past several months is in times of challenge and uncertainty, we see the best of our community. So thank you for your consideration. Thank you for joining us here today and on this journey. Your gift changes lives and makes a brighter tomorrow for those who need it most and now at a time that matters the most. Thank you, Scott. Good morning. I'm Beth Kraft, Resource Development and Event Manager for United Way. And I too want to thank you for joining us today for this training. Um, right now I'd like to talk a little bit about, for those of you that may be new um, campaign coordinators with me this year, kind of the fundamentals of what it means to be an employee campaign coordinator. So first of all, you are the person representing United Way. So we are asking you to be an advocate, to provide information, to answer questions, and to encourage people to make a donation. Um, if you can, get support from your CEO or your president. Meet with them and ask if they would be willing to write a letter or send an email prior to the campaign um, speaking in support of it. And then don't forget to ask if there is a corporate match that as employees donate, um, the, the match can be given. Don't be afraid to set goals for your campaign. Um, we can provide you with a five-year giving history, which is helpful to look back to see where you've been and maybe where you hope to be this year. Um, we know that this year is going to be challenging. Um, we understand that, but we hope that you don't use that as an excuse to set your goal too low. Um, if you set a little bit of a higher goal that provides some focus and some direction for your campaign. Then promote the campaign. Um, we're going to be providing you with a lot of resources this year, virtual resources, um, but you can use those to share information about United Way with your employees. Um, you can share through emails, your internet site, your newsletters, however you can. Um, and don't forget to include employees that you may have at satellite work locations as well. Then conduct your um, employee solicitation meetings. And again, we know this is going to look different this year. You may be doing it um, from Zoom or you have employees that are working from home so that you may be reaching them more through um, emails. But if you would like to have a representative from United Way join on like a Zoom presentation, please feel free to ask us. We're more than happy to do that. Or if you would like to have um, even a representative from one of our partner agencies on the meeting as well, again, we can make arrangements to do that um, and have that information available to you. Maybe even talk with your coworkers. See if there's anyone that has benefited from United Way or a service and um, see if they're willing to share their story. And again, that just sort of helps personalize your campaign a little bit. Then don't forget the important thing is to make the ask. The number one reason that people do not make a contribution is because they were never asked. So encourage those who haven't given in the past to do so this year, or those that have given maybe to step up their level just a little bit more. Um, we're offering new ways to give this year, and so we're hoping we make that as convenient um, as possible for employees to make donations. Then at the end of the campaign, you're gonna wrap up and report. And I'm gonna be talking about that reporting form here in just a few minutes. Um, set a deadline to have those forms turned in and then remind your employees of the date. Um, use the reporting form to record all your information. And then don't forget to share the results with your employees. That's an important thing too. As you wrap up, let your employees know um, how they did in the campaign. That is important. And then also, don't forget to recognize and thank them for their donations. Um, and that's a really important part of the, the campaign. Maybe host a little event if you're able to, like an ice cream social or morning donuts, um, and, or have one of us join if we can to say thank you in person for donations. We're happy to do that as well. And then again, maybe see if your CEO or your president would be willing to send a letter of appreciation or thank you to the donors. 
So now I'd talk, like to talk a little bit about um, the level-based giving that Scott mentioned at the beginning. We are moving away from the fair share this year, um, which was traditionally the one hour's pay per month. And we're going to this level-based giving, which we hope will make it um, sort of easier for employees to take a look at where they would like to be in their giving. Um, and maybe if they've given at a certain level in the past, encouraging them to give um, at a little bit higher level. So our levels start with the Caring Club. And this is anyone that is um, able to donate 10 to $24 a month or 120 to $299 annually. Um, at this level, this is where you will receive the Caring Club card, which is the discount card that we provide um, with a lot of great uh, discounts from restaurants and businesses um, around Fairfield County. So giving at that level ensures that you will receive that card. Our next level is the Pace Setter Club. So for anyone giving $25 to $49 a month, or $300 to $599 annually. Um, for that level, you will be receiving um, your Caring Club card, and you will also, employees will also get put into the drawings for the monthly prizes um, that we did this year. Um, we are planning to do that again next year, and employees giving at that level will have their names put in um, and have a chance at some really nice prizes that have been donated by um, businesses around the area. Then our leadership club is for those giving um, $50 to $74 a month or $600 to $899 annually. Um, at that level you will be receiving um, the benefits of the Caring Club and Pace Setter Club as well as have recognition on social media and um, our website. And then finally our Pillar Club and those who uh, donate $900 or more annually, um, and they will receive all of the um, benefits of the previous levels, and then also um, have the ability to be invited to our Pillars Club um, appreciation event that we normally hold once a year. So those are our new levels, and again, just hoping that um, this makes it easier for people to decide where they're comfortable giving and maybe even encourage um, more giving. So now I'd like to go over with you um, this year's new pledge form. We have developed a new form this year, again, hopefully making things a little bit easier. Um, we are going to be counting on you. Um, there'll be a little bit added responsibility here as a coordinator um, because the form is not in triplicate, so we'll be relying on you um, to make copies of it, but we'll get to that in just a few minutes. So let's go over the form. Um, it will be a fillable PDF, so you can give it to your employees. They can fill it out online and then have it printed out, or it can be printed out and then filled out um, either way. But if you take a look at the form, um, across the top is basically the employee information. Anything with an asterisk, we're asking that um, be filled out. It's information that helps us as we input the data into our computer. So name, home mailing address, um, employer is important. That way we can make sure that your um, employees all get credit for giving through your workplace campaign. Um, and then also, a personal email and work email. We ask for this information just because um, it helps us save on postage as we send out thank yous and information about United Way. Um, don't worry, we're not going to send them tons of emails, but it is nice to be able to reach out and say thank you for your donation. Next, if you look down the left-hand side of the form, um, this is where they can decide what level they would like to give at or feel comfortable giving. They can mark their level and then put in the most monthly donation amount. Um, and then ways that they can make their donation include either um, a monthly credit card or debit card donation, a one-time credit card um, donation through regular payroll deduction or a one-time payroll deduction, or if they'd like to include payment in full, either with cash or check, there's a place to mark that as well. Just make sure that if they are doing a credit card donation that we do have their credit card information there. 
Um, you'll also notice this year that down below that is, is a place where um, we are set up this year to have donations online. So they can go to our website at www.uafairfieldco.org and there is a form there to make your donation or texting Fairfield Gives to 41444. Um, again, that brings up a form online they can fill out and complete. Um, for those two things, you do want to make sure though that it is important for your employees to again put their um, work, their company name or their employer it is not a required field on those forms, but um, we want to make sure, again, that you get credit for those employees giving through for your um, workplace campaign. So just make sure that they fill out that information. Um, then on the right-hand side, talks about the donor levels that I just um, went over and the recognition that they'll receive or the perks that they receive at each level. The next box is optional if people would like to designate to a specific, um, either one of the bold goals or a specific agency, there is the ability to um, check your donation, uh, I'm sorry, check your designation there and um, which agency you would like it to go to. We do ask though um, that if you are making a designation, if employees are making a designation, that it must be a minimum annual donation of $50. Um, anything under that is a little bit hard to, to um, designate out. So we, we ask that it at least a $50 donation per year to designate. Um, if you would not like your information shared with the designated agency or organization, make sure that they check that box. Then at the bottom there, also, if you're not having, uh, not comfortable having your um, donation or your support level shared, there is a box to check that. If you would like the donation shared with a spouse who maybe works at a different um, place of business, you have the opportunity to come your gift and put the name there that um, who it should be combined with and then if for some reason people do not want to be included in the uh, monthly prize drawings there is a place to check that as well and then also please make sure that employees do sign and date their um, pledge forms uh, on the back of the forms is just information about United Way um, again more information about our bold goals um, the privacy statement is on the back there. So kind of a nice piece that will provide a little more information. Um, we do ask though, like I said before, this isn't a triplicate form like we've had in the past. So you wanna make sure that once you get the forms turned back into you, that you do make copies of those forms to get to your HR department um, for especially the ones that are doing the payroll deduct. We wanna make sure that um, payroll has that information so that they can take care of that. So now moving on to our campaign reporting form. Um, this looks different uh, again this year from our reporting envelope that we've done in the past. We're hopeful that this is a little simpler to go through. Um, and um, the top part of that form, we're asking for just the company information, the name, the address, the phone number, very important number of employees. Um, this information is vital to us when we go to figure awards at the end of the year. Um, so we're asking again for total number of employees at the company, not the number of employees that are giving, but total number. Um, and then there's a place to check the number of pay periods and then also when your payroll deduction date starts. Um, we know some businesses work on a calendar year and other businesses have different times um, when payroll may start. So that data is helpful for us as well. The next box asks for campaign contact information. Um, this is you as the coordinator, your name, phone number, and email in case we have any questions, we can reach you easily. Also your payroll contact person. And again, if there are questions um, from any form, especially with regarding the payroll deduct, we want to be able to have a person that we can contact um, to, to get those questions answered. And then also your CEO, president, or owner name. 
Um, and the reason we ask for that is we like to be able to acknowledge them or thank them. Um, and so that information is helpful for us and for our records as well. The last box there, um, this is where you're going to add everything up. Um, do the first column there, ask for number of givers. So you will take anyone that all the um, people that gave cash, put that number in the box, checks, credit card, payroll deduct, etc. So you'll just put simply the number of givers in those um, total givers in those um, categories. And then the next column is asking for um, re focusing on the recurring gifts. So if you have someone that is making either a credit card recurring donation or a payroll recurring donation, if you can record those amounts there. Also, there is in that column um, a place for if the, your business or company is making a corporate pledge, um, that amount will go there. And then the third column is the one-time gifts or, um, and payment enclosed. So again, you're going to record amounts for cash, checks, credit cards, um, payroll deducts. Then also there, if you offer any special events at your business um, as an extra fundraiser for the campaign, you're going to be recording that total um, in that column as well. And then you'll total everything across the bottom and give us a grand total. Um, if you would like to turn in um, a partial report, if you collect a number of pledges and, and dollars and you want to go ahead and turn in a partial report, just make sure that we know that um, by checking the partial report box or if you want to save everything to the end and turn it all in at once, um, you can just check that it is the final report just so we know. Um, if it's checked partial and we haven't heard from you, we'll be following up. Um, but we just don't want to um, hound you if you've turned everything in. So make sure we know if it is partial or final. On the back of that form, or there's a second page if you're pulling it up um, online, is just kind of a reporting checklist for you to go through. So before you turn in everything, this is kind of your checklist to make sure, um, first of all, total number of employees in your organization. Again, we are stressing that importance make sure that you have that number down. Um, make sure that you, if you do get cash and checks, that you keep that attached to the corresponding pledge forms um, so that we know who it belongs to. Also, make sure that the pledge forms are complete. All the information is there that we need. Make sure the pledge forms are signed. Um, make sure that if you do get checks that they are made out to United Way and signed. Um, make sure if it's a credit card pledge that you have the credit card information on the pledge form. And then, as we stated before, make sure that you copy the payroll deduction pledge forms um, for your payroll department's records. And again, phone number at the bottom if you have questions um, about that. So hopefully, with the new form and the new reporting envelope, we haven't scared anybody, um, but hopefully we've made this process easier for you. Um, the next thing that, and we touched on it in the presentation, are the ways to give this year. Um, we are offering some new um, opportunities, so we're hopeful that those will make it easier to make a donation. Um, you can make it by credit or debit card by the text to give, and it's text Fairfield Gives to 41444. And when they put that in, the form that comes up will. Um, have similar information on it that the pledge form does. They just need to go through the steps, fill that out, send it in, and um, make their pledge that way. Or they can go to our website, and um, that's www.uafairfieldco.org. And when you go to that, again, when you click on the donate button, that form is going to come up again. You'll be able to fill out the information easily online and um, turn it in. Or, obviously, you can use the workplace pledge forms. Uh, oh. How does the company get credit if they text give? Okay, great idea. Great. Um, another question that just came in. How does the company get credit if they do the text to give? On the form, that's um, really good. And we actually, Scott and I worked with this yesterday um, as the form was getting finalized and, and ready to go. On the text to give form, there is a place to put your company. It's not a required field, 
um, on the text to give. So in other words, people could actually complete it without filling that in. But yes, if you want to get credit for your company workplace campaign, make sure that you fill out the company name. And it is just a fill in the blank. So you can just, you know, just type in the company name. That way we'll have record of it. And you will get credit then for giving through um, your company or your workplace campaign. So good question. Thanks for asking. Yep. Yes. And we will also, um, we'll have the availability to pull up reports off of mobile cause or that's who we use to do our text to give and we'll be able to then provide reports to your workplace camp or your workplace um, letting them know of anybody that gave that way through the through text to give so yep good question all right well I'm gonna turn it back over to Scott and we are going to talk about the resources that are available to you so yes uh, we talked about website resources so we're trying to make this in this virtual world uh, no more bags of all kinds of forms and and things that are going to come to your workplace you're going to be able to go we're, we're in the process of working with martin barker to set up a page for our coordinators to go to and access all of the information that beth just talked about so when you go to our website we're going to have the brochures uh, so our digital and print collateral is going to include a new brochure uh, a, a list of virtual special events that you can do, uh, a did you know fact sheet. So all of that is gonna be available to you. Um, we're also going to have a lot of social media resources available to you to utilize and communicate with. And uh, the, you, as you watched earlier, it's approximately 15 minutes that uh, presentation that we shared with you as well. And then there also will be this year's campaign video uh, that we again appreciate Interface Video and Bob Competti for preparing for us this year. Um, matter of fact, uh, as, as we're kind of wrapping up here and before we get into the question and answer phase of this, uh, we're gonna give you a sneak peek. You get to see it before anyone else. Um, and uh, as we get ready for that, I would also tell you to yourself and any of your coworkers, encourage them next Thursday at nine o'clock to join the virtual community because that's where we will be doing our community kickoff or, uh, for our campaign this year. Uh, and hopefully you've all heard about the changes we made to Community Care Day this year. We had over two, 200, almost 230 people sign up uh, to go out and do acts of, uh, of kindness and, and different things in our community to make it better throughout the week after our virtual kickoff. So uh, please encourage people to join that next week to learn more about what our goals are this year. But again, uh, here we are. We're going to go ahead and share the, the video with you so you get to see it before anyone else. Matter of fact, you get to see it with me. So uh, enjoy. What if you could change a person's path in life by simply working together with your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers and community? If a child grows up in an unstable family, is unhealthy and doesn't get a good education, chances are that he or she will struggle through life and likely rely on social services. If the home is stable, if the child is better educated, ready to work and healthy, our kids will grow up more self-sufficient and able to contribute to the community in many positive ways. Education, financial stability, and health are the essential building blocks of a safe and stable life for both children and adults. For many individuals and families throughout Fairfield County, however, these fundamentals are out of reach. And that's where United Way of Fairfield County and the agencies they serve come in. A quality education will help children and adults achieve success. Financial stability increases independence, and access to health care promotes wellness at all ages. The work that these nonprofits do all day and every day provides necessary and critical services to our community. And now, these services are more important than ever. Meet Mary who made a life-changing decision by reaching out to the Lighthouse during her time of need. I couldn't eat. I went to bed every night crying, every night. 
You don't have to live in abuse. You don't have to give up because there's always, always help. I called and they talked to me and they asked me what was going on and and then, you know, they, they told me they had a spot for me and my kids and it was like a, a stack of bricks off of my shoulders because I knew that it was going to be okay. Once I got in there, it was like, you're okay. No one is gonna get to you. Nobody's gonna hurt you. It just isn't gonna happen. It was like, you, you had someone to talk to 24 seven all the time. And everything that you could possibly imagine was right there. I mean, they, I was able to get a home for me, a three bedroom home for me and my kids. And I remained working through all that. So I got to save, you know, the money for me working because when you're in there, they take care of you. You don't have to, you don't have to spend a dime. They do everything. They provide you with food, counselors. I mean, they, they help me out. They help me out with my car. And I, it was just amazing. I, I just love each and every one of them in there. They, I mean, they saved my life. They did. I have no doubt. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for them. In this world filled with uncertainty, we are blessed to have a caring resource of people and programs right here in Fairfield County. A gift to the United Way is the shortest distance between your charitable investment and a stronger, safer, and healthier community. I want to get my life straightened up, and I did. I did. I'm there. I mean, I am more happy and stable than I think I've ever been in my whole life. Okay, so hope you all enjoyed that. That was the first time, like I said, we've seen that too, so... Thanks again to Interface Video and um, Bob for putting that together this year. That was wonderful. So that will be another tool that you will have to share um, with your employees um, as you do your workplace campaigns. So um, that about wraps up the information that we have to share with you today. We hope it was helpful. Um, we hope that you were able to um, get an idea of what's new this year and what we have to offer. Um, we know it's going to be challenging. We understand. Um, our hope is that we have given you the tools that you need um, to run a good campaign and to talk to people about the needs that are in Fairfield County. Um, and as Scott mentioned at the beginning, some of those needs now are, are greater than, than they ever were before. Um, so your support and the support of your employees um, is going to be greatly needed and much appreciated. So having said that, we have a few minutes left and we'd like to open it up to any questions that you might have. And make sure you don't get off too quick because as promised, we're gonna be doing a drawing for everyone that's um, online. We have all of your names and we're gonna be doing a drawing here in just a couple of minutes. So. We'll open it up to see if anyone has any questions. We'd be happy to answer. Okay, so. Okay, are they? Okay. So let me address, we have a couple questions. So one was, when will the materials be available online? We are working with uh, Martin Barker as we speak, kind of, and we're hopeful that those will be available starting next week. Um, he's got the page built. We just need to get him all the information, get it online. So hopefully starting um, beginning of next week, you will have access to all of those uh, materials online. All right. Um, how can we sign up for Community Care Day? So unfortunately, we have... Um, 
we closed the deadline for shirts. We had to do that pretty quick. We had a, an online registration for that. However, that doesn't mean you still can't participate. Um, we'd love for people to still um, go out into the community. This year there is, we didn't um, get specific programs or specific projects um, from businesses and agencies uh, for just a couple of reasons. We um, didn't know, we, first of all, we didn't want large groups of people gathering. And then second, we weren't sure how agencies and organizations felt about having people come in from the outside. So there are some agencies that gave us project ideas, and I do have a list of those. Um, I'd be happy to send that out, and it is online as well. Um, those are just some of the, the projects, and we're having people that are interested in those contact the um, coordinators directly. So in other words, we're not signing people to projects this year. We're having you contact um, the agencies directly. There's a phone number, a name, or an email listed with each of the things that we have out there. Um, but we're also highly encouraging people to come up with their own ideas this year. Be creative. And it doesn't have to be a huge project. It can be as simple as um, baking cookies and taking them to your neighbor. Or um, if you have a family member that needs help with a landscape project or a painting project or whatever it is, it can be something very simple. But we're just encouraging people to go out into the community um, between September the 8th and the 13th. Do a good deed and don't forget to take pictures and tag us. Um, and we want to um, it's here, use the hashtag here for good Fairfield. And we're going to share all of your great um, deeds and projects and activities out on social media. So hopefully that answered that question for you. Um, a deadline for the campaign. Okay, so um, we know each business kind of runs their campaign on a different timeline. Um, ideally, we'd like to have everything wrapped up and done by the end of November. Um, that would be perfect. Understanding that there are some people that don't run campaigns until November. Um, but if you can get it to us, the deadline that we put on the reporting envelope or the reporting form is December the 4th, I believe. Yeah, December the 4th. So um, ultimately, we'd like to have everything in by then so that we can get everything um, wrapped up by the end of the year. Um, but of course, if you get your campaign done early, in fact, we encourage that. Um, and honestly, a shorter time frame to run your campaign is better. Um, once you announce the kickoff, if you have like a couple of weeks time frame to share the pledge forms, get people to turn them back in, and then go ahead and turn your campaign in to us. Um, sometimes that works better because the information stays fresh in their minds and um, it doesn't you know, draw out too long. Um, but ultimately, we'd like to have everything back in by that first week in December. Um, let's see. Okay, so out of county employees, um, they can give with the same, uh, using the same avenues, and if they would like to then designate back to Fairfield County, um, there is a place on the forms that they can designate, um, or on the forms, or that's a good question on the, on the text to give. Okay. Right. So if your company runs a campaign and you have employees that work outside the county, just make sure they designate back to Fairfield County. Or um, they can do the text to give or the online donation and just make sure they put the, count, the company name so that it that then comes back to the company, but make sure it's designated Fairfield County. Um. Right, and you do have, so, and I do want to clarify that, and there's a place on the, um, the campaign form, the pledge form, that if you want to designate um, to another United Way in another county, you also have that option. So, yeah, you can either designate back to Fairfield, or if there is a county that they live in that they want to um, donate to that United Way, 
they can just simply put it on the pledge form. Sorry, we're reading the chat, <laughs> the chat boxes. So, you review the donation requirements. Recall you mentioning. Oh, okay. So the fifty dollar minimum. That is, um, if someone wants to make a designation. Um, I mean, we we will accept any donation to United Way. Please, I mean, don't get me wrong. Every dollar truly counts. Um, we're just asking that if you would like to designate, if people would want to designate to a specific agency or United Way, that it's a $50 minimum donation to designate. So that's all, that's, that's all that we are asking about that. So, but, but by all means, employees can make any donation amount um, and no amount is too small. Um, Right, and that's an annual gift. It doesn't have to be $50 monthly or whatever. The $50 is, can be an annual gift, but just that amount if you want to designate. Well, with that, again, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. We appreciate you volunteering to be an employee campaign co coordinator. We hope that maybe we've energized you a little bit today to get you excited about starting your campaign. If at any time you have questions and need help with anything at all, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're more than happy to help. So thank you very much. Take care, stay safe, and stay healthy.